So, my name is Emanuel Alvarez Alvarado, and my partner is Laila Ocampo. And we're going to talk about black holes and humanity's passion for knowledge. Back when I was little, I was traveling across the highway, and then after it, as the sun was rising up and the sky turned black, I was uh, looking to the sky and I wanted to contain. When I encountered a magical light, this uh, big uh, ball of light that was apparently following me. Even though it was an amazing, shimmering piece of art, I was overwhelmed and quickly started puzzling my parents about it. So, I even started panicking when my parents explained me that it wasn't actually following me. Uh, but although I count my anxiousness, I really didn't even comprehend a single word from the many ways my parents tried to explain me the reasons behind that, mo that thing suck me. <laughs> but nevertheless, something did happen that night. That night, I encountered my friend Curiosity. A uh, spark started a fire, a passion for knowledge, and as a kid, I just wanted to learn everything. Programs like Night Geo or Discovery just helped develop that passion. It was official. I had discovered my model life. Well, I don't lie if I said so, but I did find something that night. I encountered Curiosity, and I encountered a very happy phase of my life, filled with entertainment, education, and fun and hours in learning. The big empty body of space was very different from the other things that I usually investigated, like dinosaurs or the Cambrian explosion. I just think space is so vast and the information is so little for us. We as humanity have grown and expanded our knowledge uh, to space, and we have always been uh, interested in other celestial bodies, since Egyptians or Magians or Babylonians. It's so amazing how humans can live with that and how humans have investigated and have filled with curiosity in their minds to get the answers. And scientists are just working their ass off and theories and all those things so we can get answers. And answers could be just right in front of us but we just can't see it. And I just think life is so underrated so that we can appreciate the amount of things that we have achieved in so little. Like, do you know Egyptians or Babylonians have records of day and nights or Mayans have an amazing astronomical knowledge. I think we are very attracted as a humanity for space because that's where we come from and that's the place that we belong. One celestial body that has been attracting us for so many years are black holes. Because even though scientists have been trying to discover the mystery of a black hole, they haven't achieved that. It's believed that black holes have existed since the beginning of the universe and even though humanity disappeared, they will constantly remain for billions and billions of years. They were first theorized by John Mitchell at the 70s, 83. And did you know that Einstein several times denied the existence of black holes? That's so crazy. But of course, later, Schwarzschild was the first person ever to solve Einstein's gravitational equation. Nevertheless, 1974, Stephen Hawking, if taking into account physics quantum of light, designed and created its theory of Hawking's radiation. Basically, what this theory says is that black holes evaporate. Eleven. Nevertheless, 2019, the history of black holes changed forever. Because Wednesday, April 10, 2019, the first ever image of a black hole was published by the NASA. This photo was taken of a supermassive black hole which is located at the middle of the center of the Virgo constellation. What this photo shows us is that human curiosity has taken us into great goals because it is just how insane to believe that 10 years, 10,000 years ago humans discovered agriculture. But now if you look at, at us, we have just taken a picture of a black hole that's so impressive. Black hole seems to be a normal black mass, but what's so interesting about them? It is believed that black holes used to be a normal star, like a normal star you see every time you stand out of your house and watch the starry night. But what happened to a black hole is that there is supposed to be a balance between this star. So there is a balance between radiation and gravity. Radiation is full of heavy elements such as iron, helium, hydrogen, neon, and gravity, just to clarify, remains the same at every location of the space. But what happened to the star is that 
when that heavy element starts start separating, the radiation starts declining. And when that happened, gravity pulled so much that made the star become more tinier and more dense. And when that happened, you have two options. Well, the star has two options. They will definitely collide in a supernova star, but from that, they can become a neutron star or they can become a black hole. If they become a black hole, there are two things to understand about the black hole. There is the event horizon and there is the singularity. The singularity is not even comprehended by any scientist on Earth. It, it remains as a mystery. Black holes are so intriguing, so heavy, and not even light. The fastest thing at the university can escape from it. So imagine if you fall into a black hole, you are going definitely going to die. But black holes become a different size. They can become in a size of an asteroid, and also they can become in a supermassive black hole like the one which are located at the middle of a console of a galaxy. Island. Black holes are so dense and so heavy that even light, the fa the fastest thing at the university, can escape from it. They are so intriguing and they remain as a mystery, but unfortunately we have taken already a picture of a black hole. But wait, pictures are literally a 2D light engraved in a 2D image. So if black hole's nature is to be invisible, how is that we took a picture of it? And and so that black hole is so far away from us that we need that we would need a telescope the size of the Earth to take a picture of. So how did we do it? So scientists innovated and decided to use eight telescopes around the Earth to perform this incredible task. And a group and in a whole project was named the Event Horizon Telescope. Just imagine the things humans are capable of. We love discovery. We love doing the possible. And even without a picture of a black hole, we knew it existed. And now we know that that black hole that we took a picture of matches exactly to what Einstein's theory of relativity predicted. Put in. I personally see a big potential to humanity. And as the future comes near Earth, I personally see. I personally see a big potential in humanity, and even if we sometimes rip over our self uh there's always a person that can take the fight against the dark times, and that person should be you. In conclusion, we are a species that grows and expands. We are the seeds for the future. We are the, pens the persons that can outstand, uh, outstand the selfishness of our own selves for the greater good. We are a species that's gonna go to the moon and beyond. We're gonna go to Mars, and I think I see a big potential in every human person alive. We are the future, and we need to understand it. We need to know that it's our job to take us far away, to take us to a future, to stop tripping ourselves over an ambitiousness, over our things to just contaminate the earth. We need to know that there's a lot to explore, and there's a lot to know even more. So, I'm just here to appreciate that and to remind you that it's important to do that. And even things that are so extreme and so rare, like black holes, can even have an explanation. And we can go, and we can go and explore. So, thank you.